Ever wondered what makes Moroccan dishes so tantalizing and aromatic? Well, it's all about the spices and herbs. Moroccan cuisine is a sensory delight, a rich tapestry of flavors that awaken your palate to new experiences. At the heart of it all are spices, each adding its unique touch to the dish. Let's meander through the spice trail of Morocco, shall we? First stop, cumin. This warm, earthy spice is a staple in Moroccan kitchens, lending a smoky, nutty flavor to soups, stews, and grilled meats. Then there's coriander, a spice with a sweet citrusy note that's often paired with cumin for a flavor duo that's simply irresistible. But what's a Moroccan dish without the royal touch of saffron? This precious spice imparts a unique aroma and a golden hue to dishes, making them truly regal. Chilies add the fiery kick, dried ginger brings a zesty twist, while cinnamon adds a sweet spicy warmth. Paprika with its sweet and smoky profile is a must in many a Moroccan dish, adding depth and color. And let's not forget the unsung heroes of Moroccan cuisine, preserved lemons and olives. Preserved lemons with their tangy, briny flavor and olives with their salty, savory punch are key to many Moroccan dishes, adding a layer of complexity that's hard to replicate. Now the magic of Moroccan cuisine isn't just in the spices and ingredients, but also in the cooking methods. Take the tagine for instance. This traditional clay pot slow cooks the food, allowing the spices and ingredients to meld together over time, resulting in dishes that are incredibly flavorful and tender. The Moroccan tagine, a slow cooked stew, is a perfect representation of the country's culinary philosophy. Patience rewards with deep rich flavors. It's a testament to the Moroccan belief that good food is worth the wait, and that the journey of creating a dish is just as important as the final product. And that, dear listeners, is the essence of Moroccan cuisine. Have you ever tasted Botswana's traditional dishes where food is a hearty, shared experience? This is a land where the humble maize rules supreme in the culinary realm. It's not just a crop, but a cornerstone of Botswanan cuisine and culture used in a myriad of ways to create dishes that are both comforting and satisfying. One of the most popular dishes that hold maize at its heart is a thick porridge known as bogobe. This versatile staple can be paired with a variety of accompaniments, from milk and sugar for a sweet breakfast treat, to more savory options like meat and vegetables for a hearty dinner. It's a testament to the resourcefulness and creativity of Botswana's cooks, who have found endless ways to reinvent this simple grain. But it's not all about maize, Botswana has other culinary wonders up its sleeve. Enter seswa, a slow-cooked beef stew that's a favorite at celebrations and gatherings. This dish is a labor of love, traditionally prepared by men who meticulously shred the meat using wooden forks after it's been simmered to tender perfection over an open fire. It's a testament to the country's communal spirit, where the act of cooking becomes a shared endeavor, bringing people together in celebration of food and fellowship. And what's a celebration without a toast? In Botswana, this often comes in the form of boyalwa, a local homemade beer brewed from fermented sorghum or maize. It's a potent brew, often served in communal vessels, further emphasizing the importance of sharing and community in Botswana's food culture. So, from the humble maize to the hearty seswa and the celebratory bojalwa, Botswana's cuisine is a window into its soul. It's a cuisine that champions simplicity, resourcefulness, and above all, community. Because in Botswana, the act of sharing a meal is as important as the meal itself, and every dish tells a story of the country's rich culture. Ever been intrigued by the culinary delights that come from the warm heart of Africa, Malawi? Well, prepare to let your taste buds embark on a journey through Malawi, a country blessed with an abundance of freshwater bodies, the largest of which is Lake Malawi. This massive body of water is not just a stunning sight to behold, but is also the source of an array of tantalizing dishes that are integral to Malawian cuisine. An important staple in Malawi is ensima, a thick porridge made from cornmeal. This hearty dish is served with accompaniments such as fish, meat, or vegetables. But it's not just about filling the stomach, it's about an experience. Each bite of ensima, whether it's combined with a juicy piece of meat, a fresh catch from the lake, or a locally grown vegetable, tells a story of the Malawian people's connection to their land and their ability to create a satisfying meal from what they have. Now, let's dive deeper into the heart of Malawi's culinary culture and talk about chambo, the national dish. Chambo is a type of fish unique to Lake Malawi. Its rich flaky texture and distinct flavor have earned it a special place in the hearts and kitchens of Malawi. Often served with ensima, chambo is typically grilled, fried, or cooked in a stew, 
As the aroma of cooking chambo fills the air, it's a signal that a feast is about to begin. What's fascinating about Malawian cuisine is its simplicity. There are no complicated cooking techniques or hard-to-find ingredients. It's all about taking what the land and lake offer and transforming them into meals that nourish the body and soul. So, the next time you're seeking a culinary adventure, why not consider Malawi? Experience the warmth and richness of a people who have learned to artfully utilize the resources of their land and lake. Malawi's cuisine is a testament to its people's ability to artfully utilize the resources of their land and lake. So, have we whetted your appetite for African cuisines yet? Let's take a moment to recount the Epicurean adventure we've embarked on. We began our journey in Morocco where the vibrant flavors of their dishes dance on the palate. Their unique cooking methods incorporating an array of spices have created a culinary culture that's both bold and diverse. Then we ventured to Botswana where the communal dining experience is as rich as the food itself. The hearty meals deeply rooted in tradition have a way of bringing people together, creating a sense of community with every bite. Our journey didn't stop there. We found our way to Malawi, where the resourceful use of local ingredients has resulted in a cuisine that's both nutritious and delicious. The lake bounty of Malawi truly showcases the inventiveness of its people. Whether it's the spice-laden dishes of Morocco, the hearty meals of Botswana, or the lake bounty of Malawi, African cuisine offers a delightful Epicurean journey worth exploring. If you've enjoyed this culinary journey through Africa as much as we have, then don't let the adventure stop here. Like share and comment on this video to keep the conversation going. What was your favorite dish? Have you tried any of these cuisines before? We'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you're hungry for more, make sure to hit the subscribe button. We'll take you on delicious journeys exploring food from all corners of the globe. Remember, every new subscription is a ticket to another culinary adventure. Thank you for joining us on this Epicurean journey through Africa. Stay tuned for more mouthwatering destinations. Until next time, bon appetit!